just turned my mic off. Oh, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. Why are you? Are now you we're testing, I'm talking, I'm talking. Your, nope. Are you? I'm, put that through your shirt? I'm very unprofessional today. It, yeah, you're not shaved. Nothing. I haven't shaved nothing. <laughs> I haven't shaved in days. He wants to go see cheerleaders. I have better things to do, people. <laughs> you have no idea. No idea. Is my mic back on or? Okay. So, um,. Yeah, so amazingly, the power and internet came back on. The power went off like five times, like on, off, on, off, on, off. And we were like, oh, wow. Glad we have ex invested in all of those expensive-ass battery backups. Yeah, exactly. UPSs for all that, you why know, isn't, Why aren't stuff. you in a tux? Seriously, digital Phyllis. Do I need to be in a tux, Digital Phil? Look isn't, at me. Isn't he just good enough without it? I mean, so, do you know what happens when I put on a tux? Do you know what happens to the people around me? It's very, <laughs> it's, it's hard to watch, it's to true. be honest. It's hard to watch. So, you know. You and, <laughs> Ben says not Dave even the apocalypse Curley. can stop this show. <laughs> hey, uh, are we ready to go? Are you just going to tux the whole show? We got. <laughs> hey, we got to get the we, the power she already. Busy t texting instead of running the tricast. We would have been early today, <laughs> but the power went out, and so we're late. Uh, yes, and we we were we were prepared and ready to go, and then life came yep. and did its thing. Life life comes at you hard. Please don't shine that in my eye. Who's uh whose commercial is that? Life comes at you. I have no idea. Allstate. Oh, that, that makes sense. Allstate. Life comes at you hard. I'm playing with toys, folks. Digital Phil, have we ever seen a picture of you? Mm, we have new toys in the studio, and I'll show you what some of them are. When I say we have new toys, how many boxes do you think we got today, guys? Twelve. Twelve? Probably. Look at this. Huh? Huh? Nice. Now that's not a new, the camera's not a new toy. The camera is a 5D Mark III. It's got a badass lens on it. That's 24 to 70 uh, Canon USM II. But this rig thing here, this is a PNC rig. The camera's mounted on it. Let's me do all this oh my God. jobby job. Okay, here, I'll take my... My phone is... Your phone is annoying because it sounds like it's, it's, like, it's got that notifications. long vibrate that makes it sound like a phone call. The girls love it. Uh, anyway. Oh my God, I also John. got this, this light. This, this is light. a family show. Look at that. Look how bright this is. That's, that is the lowest setting. Okay? <laughs> that is the lowest setting. I'm going to turn it up. Look at that. That is bright. I'm okay? not even looking. Oh, but let me show you the coolest thing about this light. That's the lowest setting. Now I can turn it. Now it's white. Now I can turn it and now it's yellow. Did you see that? Did you see the color change? White, yellow. That means when I That's shine it on cool. Callie. When can, I'm, when can I'm white and Can you put her dead. camera on? Put her camera on. Okay, th that's her. Wait, here you go. That's her all white. And now that's her yellow. Like color, colored, see? See the difference? Yeah. White. Yellow. So now we can make her look even wow. prettier than she already Digital is. Phil actually asked for me to get on camera because it was on you for a long time. Oh, yeah. Well, you know. That's, I can't believe that. Even Digital Phil can only take so much of me. When I mean, if you're there, then they'd rather watch you. <laughs> we all know that. All right. So and we, we got the little go? arm thing. Now, this will also allow me to mount. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the, the juiced link box right here. Uh-huh. And then we can connect multiple wireless rigs into it. So we'll have two wireless mics going through a juiced link and into the camera for video recording. Yeah. And we have this big old light on it, but it gets better. I'm not done yet. We also got this badass Manfrotto. You do realize we're not actually doing the show yet, right? Yeah, that's okay. okay. Well, I'm doing it. We got this badass Manfrotto uh, monopod with a video head on it. So what happens, you see, is I can take this big old rig 
and attach it to my monopod. Bye, Bruce. He has to go to his sister's 50th birthday party. Bye, Bruce. Bye. Tell her happy birthday. We wish her another 50. And now, look at that. Now I can just drop these legs down. And now look at that, I can video Cali. Isn't that cool. badass? Nice. We can take that to CES? I think we are. Yep. Cool. I think we are. That's how we're going to do it, people. All right, let's get started with the show. So you uh, I'm already here. started with the show. But he isn't. I hope he's recording. I don't think so. Are Way to go, recording? Dave. Yeah. Oh, okay. See, he's already recording. Well, well, we were supposed to like officially start it. Well, you can officially start it now. Okay. Hey, run an intro, Dave. Just run the jingle. Just run it. Run it. Run it. Here's your jingle, people. Are you hearing it in your head? No sound, they say. Oh, no sound intro. Good job, Curly. <laughs> yeah, good job. Yeah, yeah, Curly's getting blamed. <laughs> way, wow. way to go. Way Why to go with no sound. Out. And that and you know, I think it's funny because in the chat room everybody's giving Dave Curly a hard time. Dave oh, Curly's not the one running it. It's no. Dave Herwig. It's GK Dave. GK Dave's the one who did that, people. And Santa's sending you coal. <laughs> <laughs> Santa's sending you coal. Her rig, yes. All right. Well, now I got this huge rig. By the way, this is heavy with all this stuff so, on it. So, welcome to Geek Beat, by the way, guys. Hey, guys. I'm Let's John P. Let's switch over to this one. Um, so She's Callie Lewis. I, yes, I am. And if you weren't paying attention... Um, so earlier, mm -hmm. uh, if you weren't on the live stream before the show started, mm -hmm. John was showing you all his new gear. Mm -hmm. But we've got a lot to cover today. We have a big show today with lots of do stuff. Do we? We do. Oh, wow. But I guess we ought to get to it. we to cover it all. Oh, because, okay. Um, because the you, power went out. Well, the power went out just before the show. The internet went down. It was all a big mess. It was the end of the world. And then it all came back up. So we are here, but we're late. That's because I vetoed the apocalypse. And you have something special. I have, I have a hot date tonight. To go do tonight. He is going to go. I have a hot date with, a, with about a dozen hot chicks <laughs> at once. <laughs> and you guys only think I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. Uh, um, yeah, so this is, uh, he's, he's going to go check out, to take video of, and check out, I'm sure, um, the who? I'm going to be photographing and videographing the Dallas Cowboys rhythm and blues dancers people tonight. You know why I'm going to do that? For you. I'm going to take one for the team. You can thank me later. <laughs> so, um, hey, do you have pictures of them? Uh, yeah. What are you doing over there? <laughs> He's good. Uh, that, there you go. There you go. Oh, God. That's the, oh, Dave Dave was checking right. in on Get Glue. So those are the guy, the girls that he's going to go um, hang out with. Oh, I guess yeah. GK's going with you too, right? GK begged me. Like, begged <laughs> me. Please. Please take me with and, you. Um, I need a date. But the question I have, though, John, uh -huh. are you going to be picking the chicks up like you are apt to do? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I sh I'm supposed to pick up. Hot you know, chicks. I mean, this is this is what you do. I do. Yeah, there's there's a couple. You remember that one? That was two at a two. Oh, <laughs> that was that was not a hot chick. That was not a hot chick. That guy, oh, there's a hot chick. She was all over you. Literally, she's literally hanging on me. Oh, yeah. those are that's the LFL, the lingerie football league. If you guys have not seen my pictures of the on the lingerie football league, you should go find me on Flickr and look. I've got hundreds of, po of pictures of. That is not what you're doing though tonight. The Dallas team. That is something else. That <laughs> is that is indeed something <laughs> our else. Our live our live audience member just went over to the TriCaster so he could see these pictures. He was That's like, true. I can't, he did. I can't miss out on this. <laughs> By the way, Digital Phil says, "Why haven't I picked up Cali?" It is funny. It is funny. That yeah, I've picked no. up like how many women I've never picked you up. It just doesn't seem right. Yeah, it's Why like. Why would you pick me up? It's like picking up your sister. <laughs> No, not really. So, um, By the way, speaking of picking uh, wait, things hold up. On. Israel Ferreira, we have to say hi. He's from Ecuador. Oh, hi there. Thanks for joining us. Welcome, welcome. Speaking of picking things up. Of course, up. Dave's still got the hot <laughs> chicks on. He can't take the hot chicks off the screen. 
Speaking of picking things up, yes. uh, you have a dog in your lap. I do, but you can't see. You can only see her. She's such a good dog. This is Dave Curley's dog. She's yep. such a good little dog that she just sits here quietly. Yeah. I was going to just hold her and pet her the entire That's time. That's Leia. That's Leia, like Princess Leia. Everybody she's, say hi to Leia. She's uh, hanging out with us today. Well, she's she's basically the official dog of Geek Beat because yeah. there are no other, nobody has any dogs other than her anymore. Exactly. Oh, you no. Know, Apollo, GK's Oh, dog. that's true. Sorry. But you know what Sorry. would happen if Apollo came to the office? We would have no studio. That, uh, that dog is a little bit hyperactive. <laughs> A little right. hyperactive. I guess I'll let you take her, J Dave. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Curly, come Hi. get the dog. Hi. She's more, she's like heating me up. Yep. Here you go. She's a little heater. She, she is. is. <laughs> Finally, you can be warm. I know. Right. You need to bring her more often. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. I'll old. be warm later when I'm hanging out with the rhythm and blues dancers. I'm sure you will be, John. <laughs> 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 so, you know what? It is the end of the year. Coming oh, wait, on, wait right? I forgot. I need to tell everybody something. Oh. Um, so I'm going to be taking, be, you guess who set this up, folks? What? You'll never in a million years who, who se guess who's sending me over to hang out with the Rhythm and Blues, Dallas Cowboys Rhythm and Blues dancers. Who? Giovanni Gallucci. You, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're telling me that he called me declined up, declined the opportunity. And sent you instead. He told me that they told him he just wasn't hot enough for them and they needed somebody hot. <laughs> okay. That's basically so what he said. So you and GK Dave are going. Something like that, yeah. Okay, got it. Uh, for the record. So, uh, <laughs> Dave Curley. <laughs> <For> the, <laughs> go away. We don't need any record. Go, for hey, the record. Whatever he says doesn't matter, okay? For the, and I'll bring my phone. But for the mm -hmm. record, I was called first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gio said, Dave, oh, wait, I need so you. Wait, so you declined the opportunity to go hang out with hot girls. Who's the idiot? Hey, Who's the idiot here? Yeah. Uh, hey, listen, I'm quite used to it. Uh huh. <laughs> it's old hat. It's uh -huh. not that big a deal. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, nothing can compare. Oh, to right. Yeah. With you all right, 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 yeah. exactly. Oh, sure. Nice. Curly is better. That's right. <laughs> oh. Okay, so. You just uh, got if you guys, by a digital if, fill. If you guys want to see the pictures. And the video and all that that's going to come out of that. Hi, Jindy. Then you need to go over to thesidelinegroup.com. They're the ones who I'm going to go hang out with the tonight. Thesidelinegroup.com. The sideline group. They? Like, what is it? A it's it's basically an it's basically like an online magazine that focuses on cheerleaders. Cool. So Hallelujah. yeah, you might want to follow them on so like Twitter can, and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, they're on Twitter. You can go to twitter.com forward slash the oh, sideline wow. GRP. Okay. Yeah, the, I'm I'm on their website. Their I website is thesidelinegroup.com. Shut down their website. I've got it bookmarked. Don't worry. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, Digital Phil asks if he can film a mo mobile life episode. Yesterday we were shooting some mobile lives. Uh -huh. and guess what Norm did? I heard what Norm did. Actually, I don't have to guess. That man. He dropped trow. In the middle of the restaurant that we were shooting at, he drops his pants. He said he just wanted to film the rest of this show with his pants off or something. What did he say? That, what did much, he say? He just wanted to film with his pants off. And so he just just dropped him. Dropped his pants that man is and said, crazy. "Keep going." <laughs> I refused to shoot until he put them back on. Anyway, things like that make me do believe that it is the end of the world. <laughs> Maybe but he was a little we, loopy yesterday. One thing we do know, it is the end of the year. It is. And guess what happened in the year 2012? A Gangnam lot. Style oh, hits yeah. a billion views. Did it hit a billion? On a scale of one, one to today. safe. Wow. On a scale yeah. of one to Unbelievable. safe, how safe Impressive. is this? What we and it only took, what, five months or something? I mean, yeah, four it was or five months. months. Crazy. That crazy, is crazy, crazy. unbelievable. So, so you guys know we will not be here next week. Uh, the team is off until January 2nd. So um, we won't be hanging out with you guys. But maybe we'll do some, like, hangouts, just some casual stuff. Yeah, we can try week. and do that. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure you guys won't want to, like, hang out with us on Christmas Day or anything. But maybe, maybe later in the year. I mean, week. Whatever. Digital Phil, you can buttle for me anytime. He's going to be my butler. <laughs> Oh, nice. Um, <sighs> so the slow-mo guys released a nice video yeah. today. You, you just 
fire. Oh, uh, I like it. Slow motion. Uh, I love these guys. Need I say anything They're else? my heroes. I mean, take a look at look this Look at video. this. Uh, is it, it, it fast-forwarded until, no? Uh, oh, okay, there we go. Uh -oh. Stupid. That's gasoline, Stupid. people. Oh yeah. Oh okay, that's what he does. You just kick they a button, kick a butt and then run over with the uh, <laughs> run over with the hose and try and put the fire out. <laughs> He's gonna have quite the uh, burn marks like on that grass. Now wait, that was just the fast version. Now they're gonna show it to you in slow mo. Look at this, super nice. slow mo. That's like a Phantom Flex camera they use or something. You guys, I called. Beautiful. I called them to see how much it would be to get one of these so we could do this stuff. Guess how much it was, Callie? How much? Guess. You have to guess. Well, I think it was something like $30,000, wasn't it? Ha! They laugh in the face of $30,000. It was 130000 It was like $95,000. It was going to be $95,000 for this camera. My now, gosh. I kind of wanted one better than even the one they're using, so it was $95,000. Wow. I was going to just charge it on my Amex card, but then I thought when you got the bill, you might be a little upset with me. Yeah, um, I would be. The business one? I mean, I don't care if you do it on your personal one. <laughs> why, but why would you be upset? Not the lipid lobster card. Why would you be upset for me charging a $95,000 camera? Don't you love our fans? I do love you guys. You I guys? Love you more than anything. But... If she really loved you, don't you think she would let me buy <laughs> a $95,000 camera so what I could shoot slow-mo stuff? You're mean. I know. <laughs> You're just trying to cause a big deal. Um, I'd help her bury... What? Christopher says I'd help her bury you in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Christopher. Oh, you're on my side. I got it. Thank you. Um, Insert funny says for 95K, I could buy and sell each person in this chat and still have money left for bacon. <laughs> nice. Um, okay, so on to the news, shall we? Hey, start a Kickstarter. That's a good idea. We should start a Kickstarter. Oh. Get Geek Beat a Phantom Flex. It's for $95,000. And it's for you. And if they... Yeah, there you go. Uh, pick up... Uh, me picking up hot chicks in slow-mo and all that other stuff. Really? See? Yep, yep, yep. As long as Okay, sorry. Hurts. We had to keep um, going. Okay, so news. This yes. week. Mm. Big news of the week. The only thing that really happened. Instagram. Updated, Instagram updated their t TOS, their terms of service, and caused a big riot in the community. Yeah, that was funny. That because was interesting. I don't know if anybody actually went and read it, but um, and I don't mean read it like read it the website. Ha <laughs> ha. Never mind. Uh, I don't know if anybody went and read the terms. I got a blank stare from me. <laughs> I know. If anybody read oh, the read terms, it, read it, read it. Oh, got it. Oh, I yeah, yeah, just a little yeah, slow yeah, here. A little slow there. <laughs> Sorry, folks. <laughs> Anyway, I don't know if anybody actually read those terms, but nothing really changed. Everybody like freaked out, like, "Oh my God, they're gonna own our content yeah. and they're gonna sell it," you know? And the blah, problem blah, blah, blah. is, no. is it was the same way before. Yeah. I mean, they basically had those same terms before. Anyway, but so it doesn't matter. A bunch of people left Instagram and then went over to they Facebook. went back to Flick, Flickr. Flickr. I'm sorry, Flickr. I was getting so many Flickr friend requests; it's unbelievable. Not me. I don't even think I've posted a single picture there. Flickr went nuts for me. Oh, I have a lot of pictures. I know you, you have know. those pictures of the uh, the fantasy football girls. LFL. <laughs> um, Lingerie another... football league. So oh, there today, you go. So today, there's better pictures than that on there, by the way. My pictures have been viewed well over a million times on Flickr, just so you know that. Nice. Impressive. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, so today, Instagram, or maybe late, late yesterday, said, because of the feedback, we have heard you. We are reverting this advertising section to the original version that has been in effect since we launched the service in October. They still, my understanding is, they're still going to own the pictures, blah, yeah. blah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. But they also said, going forward, rather than obtain permission from you to introduce possible advertising products we have not yet developed, we're first going to basically figure out what we, the heck we want to do, and then we'll tell you why we're doing it. In other words, we're not going <laughs> to reverse our position anymore in the future? They're just going to firm up what they're going to that what they want to do with their advertising prospects uh -huh. and then come back to the community and say, here's what's going on. And they not saying that they say, we're going to explain how we would like our advertising business to work once we figure it out. Well, here's They're the not funny asking thing permission, you know, for you to 
give them that feedback. Here's the funny thing. Okay, everybody wants to use Instagram for free. Do you know how much money oh, it costs gosh, yes. to run Instagram? Yeah. Now, I guess Facebook's buying them or whatever or bought them or whatever the heck's going on. But the point is, it costs huge bucks, okay? And everybody just wants it to be free. It ain't going to be free, people. Somebody's got to pay. In-app purchase. So, and you know what? In-app purchase is Great. Really In-app purchase, work. great. But nobody's going to do it because people want it for free. So, guess what? You have two options. You have two options. You either pay, you pay uh, them to run the service, or you get ads, okay? Right. Or, yeah, actually there's a third option. Don't use it at all and find your own way to do it. Like build a website and upload your stuff to your mm -hmm. website, fine. But then you don't get their huge community of people to give you lots of thumbs ups or whatever the heck right. you do on Instagram because I'm not on Instagram. Yeah, actually, I'm on Instagram and I have hundreds of friends but I've never shared anything. Though. I don't even know if I have an account there or not. I don't Does think anybody do. follow me on Instagram? Because I've never posted a picture there, I don't think. Tube Maker makes a good point. Revenue sharing. Revenue sharing? Probably people wouldn't complain. Yeah. Probably not. Yeah. Give everybody back, I don't know, 20% or 30% or something. I don't know. And then keep the rest for operations and profits yeah. and whatnot. You could, although... With millions of people, can you adma imagine administering oh, that? No, pro you would be paying I mean, you're talking millions about, of people each month. You're going to be talking about a tiny amount per no. person, not just large amounts for everyone. You'd have to do it where there was a certain minimum payout, like yeah, $50 like or $100. 20, 50, yeah. When your account hits this amount, then we'll pay you out. Otherwise, did you hear that rhyme I created? I did. I could turn that into a rap song. Well, you've got the start of a beard for being a rapper. I'm going to get my ears pierced next week. Nice. I'm sure that'll go over well with that Holly pose. <laughs> Can you, what would Holly say if you walked in the door with, with your ears With my ears pierced? pierced? I think she would just stare at me. <laughs> I think she'd throw me out of the house because she'd be like, that's not John P. With a nose ring. <laughs> yeah, she'd be like, that's not him. I, I don't know what happened. So. <laughs> All right. Um, so uh, The Hobbit. But that, that wasn't, yeah, The Hobbit came out. You weren't so happy with it. I went in after a few days of reading everybody's comments that say, they were saying, you know, oh, it's not true to the book. It's, there's, there's stuff wrong with it, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I went in with an open mind that I knew it wouldn't be perfect, right? And so I was able to just kind of enjoy it for what it was. Um, what was it? It, what do you mean? It I don't know. You said you enjoyed it for what it was. So I, what was it? It was The Hobbit. But <laughs> that book meant a lot to me when I read it in eighth grade. And so I, uh, that, it's probably one of my favorite books of all time, for sure. And so it just I was able to enjoy the world as opposed to think, ah, they added a character. Ah, this was wrong. This was wrong. So all right, well, I here's fun, my problem. you didn't like it. Here's my problem. My problem is this. There was The Hobbit. And then there were the Lord of the Rings trilogy that came after that. Uh -huh. Why is it that each of the Lord of the Ring trilogy books was turned into essentially one long movie? Right. And those, each of those three had way more action than The Hobbit. I yeah. mean, as far as just a book is concerned, uh -huh. each of those was way more yeah. than The Hobbit. Yeah, yeah. But they didn't take The Hobbit and turn it into a three movie series. I don't agree with that. Nine, it's gonna be nine. No. That, that movie was three hours long, basically. Yeah. So it's gonna be like nine hours long for The Hobbit and like three hours for each of the others. Hello, yeah. it's I, not. There's no. not enough. They're dragging it out, and there's only one reason. I will Money. never believe anyone who tells me otherwise. It's because they know they can make a billion yeah. bucks off each of the three. So why not? Yeah. And I, I would I do it too. I don't agree with the making The Hobbit into three movies. It, it just doesn't need it. I do the it. Hob I, but whatever. For a billion I'll dollars? I'll all three of them. I know I will. <laughs> In fact, you know what, people? We're going to break up today's show into three shows. <laughs> just so we can make billion dollars off of it. How are we going to do that? We're going to. Ooh. It's going to be awesome. Really? Okay. And it'll pay for that camera. There was actually something else that happened this week. Yes. Anonymous. Yeah. I didn't know if we wanted to really talk about that. Hack the heck out of the WBC, so, the Westboro Baptist Church. Right. So, you want to tell them about it? Well, so this is a um, organization that 
pretends to be a church and essentially goes out and hate crimes. And They have um, legal church status. They yeah, are a church. They are a church, but they don't act like one, that's for sure. So well, uh, Anonymous decided, they, they posted, let's go back to this one. Or do we have the WBC's post? No, but no, what happened not was the anonymous one. Um, after all those kids were gunned down in that school, the 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 WCBC WC. spokespeople said, "Oh, glory to God for killing all of those children. It's because we all deserve it, and we're going to go yeah. protest at yeah. the at the funeral thing." There you go. They're going to picket it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that sent everybody off, and anonymous said, "Oh, really? Well, I tell you what. You are now." You are now going to be on our list. Yeah. And then they started doing all kinds of stuff. There, there's <laughs> one right there. Um, your they, Anna they, News. They, they filed for the death certificate for the, Shirley is, I believe, the head of the, the spokesperson. WBC. She's not the head. She's oh, okay. their official the spokesperson. spokesperson. Um, and I so wrote, now she's going to have a really tough time, that's for sure, if, they, if the government thinks she's dead. Digital Phil's got to go buy pizzas in a minute. All right, do it, okay. Digital <laughs> Phil. Get one for me while you're at it. I like mushroom. Ew. I love mushroom. I also like beef, and I like sausage pepperoni combination. Okay, anyway, <laughs> I wrote a big article about all the things yes. that they're doing. It's that like geekbeat.tv slash WBC, I believe. I believe it is. Like, uh, So if you guys hear of any other, if you hear of any other things they're yeah. doing to the WBC, let me know, because I documented like everything I, they're doing to And you know what? For the first time, everyone kind of got on board with Anonymous and said, <laughs> yeah. go Anonymous! Yeah. <laughs> because no one likes... <laughs> what, you know, uh, what they did. Nobody can get behind what they did, and everybody's like, Anonymous, yay! Digital Phil is pointing out, it's a forward I know, that's slash. What, that's what bothered me. That's what I <laughs> that's say. What I was... <laughs> forward slash. It's geekbeat.tv forward slash and WBC. He knows I hate when you say forward slash. I know, I know. I don't get the point. It's just right. It's an old way of doing right. things. Everybody it's... knows how to write in web address these days. It's the right way of doing things, but that's okay. It's, it doesn't matter. Do, what other stories do we have? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is kind of funny. Steve Jobs' yacht, you know, the yacht um, called Venus, that he had Philip Stark, the designer, work on before Stark he Stark Industries? Oh, no, not Stark Industries. Oh. Philip Stark. He works with Target. He has a lot of Target des uh, okay. designs in Target. Okay. And, he and he's de on he's dead? commercials. No. Steve Jobs is dead. Oh, okay. Did you not know this? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so Steve Jobs... I was worried for a minute. It, I thought Philip Stark was dead. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> guys! <laughs> so anyway... <laughs> um, they, they did this yacht. It's an impressive looking yacht. Do we have pictures of that? No. Mm. You didn't no. pull my pictures of the yacht? You know who else has a yacht? Um, it doesn't matter. The point of this story is that S Philip Stark never got paid for his work, and they re repoed, repoed the, yacht. the yacht. Are you serious? They did. Steve Jobs never paid off the bill on his yacht? I don't know if he never paid anything, but it wasn't paid. And so Stark said... Nine million euros I'll was take the commission that. for that. And so he repoed the boat? He repoed the boat. <laughs> that boat's got to be worth, like, hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah. Hundreds of millions. And so he re he put a he put a uh, he repoed it or he put a lien on it. I think actually he put a lien on it. It's probably just a lien. Okay. Anyway, there wasn't because the two guys were f basically friends, and they didn't really have a hard contract in place, and so things got a little messed up. Dan V Tim says they didn't repo it, but has a hold oh, on okay. it. Okay, so it has a hold on it. Okay. So um, anyway, <sighs> I thought that was interesting and kind of funny, to be honest. I agree with you. <laughs> All right, um, in gadget news. Gadgets? At CES. Yeah. I'm very much looking forward to this. Samsung is going to have a, fe a flexible display on, on display. A flexible display? Uh-huh, for phones. It should be the size of, like, for the, like, a five-inch phone. I'm looking for the story here. Um, Five-and-a-half-inch flexible screen. It should be 1280 by 720. That's the size of a Galaxy Note. Exactly. Um, oh, sweetness. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, we've been seeing flexible displays. They're going to get for sued for that. From who? Apple. One time, Apple had a piece of plastic that was flexible, 
and they copyrighted flexibility. Okay, they trademarked it. It's a okay, trademark okay. of Apple Corporation, and they're just copycats over at Samsung. Well, so um, Max S is asking, what's the practice? Oh, there's the yacht. Sorry. Oh. That's a little late, Dave. A little late. <laughs> He's a little late. It's a little late for that. We've moved on to flexible displays. Uh, what the practicality is of having a flexible display. Imagine if your phone was completely flexible, right? And everything, every piece of it, you didn't have this hard piece that you had to stick in your pocket. You just roll up your phone and take it on. Or imagine you. if you could drop your phone and it from one foot up. and it wouldn't break. Yeah, exactly. There are a lot of a lot of reasons that it would be uh, nobody's phone. Good. You know what? I don't care about that. All that. You know what? I want to. I just thought of place. something. I just thought of something. Hmm. Gorilla Glass. Yes. That is a sham. <laughs> that is <laughs> a. It work. is a lie. It is. It is a lie that has been perpetrated on all of us to make us believe our phones are tough. Yeah. So that we're. So not that we careful drop with them. them and go pay for more. Because every phone that has Gorilla Glass breaks. I know. Every one of them will break. I know. So they I think that's what it is. They have per per <laughs> perpetrated a fraud against humanity. And yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, so speaking of Apple, they uh, did go at Not everybody company. agrees with me by the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> speaking of Apple, uh so um, remember the pop charger? Um, it was like this little. You have a picture of that? Did pop you say charger? pop? Yeah, this this one. I don't know what that is. Do you remember the Kickstarter project for this? No. And it's like this little charger. Oh yes. That pulls out in different um, has different. Yeah, cables, cables right? so you can pull them all out. So they wind wound up. Apple getting, sued them. No. Oh. But worse. Worse. Uh, well, maybe worse. Yes. The Kickstarter project funded at a hundred and thirty something thousand, thirty nine thousand uh dollars. -huh. They had asked for fifty thousand. Then Apple told them, "You've got to license the technology for us for the connectors, and we want hundreds of thousands of dollars." No. Okay. They won't allow them to use their Lightning connector. Apple they, they just says no. They won't even license it to them. Why? <laughs> They don't really go into why, um, but they have to refund $140,000 back to Kickstarter funders because they can't, they can't produce this machine now. Wow. So that Digital Phil's asking, nice. what if I'm Pose's arch nemesis, posing as his biggest fan? I think you might be. You have been more like nice to me lately, Digital Phil. Hmm. I'm wondering what's going on with that. Well, I don't believe it. I refuse to believe it. <laughs> Yeah, he needs the uh, hope. Harumph says Apple's going to sue me for eating apples. <laughs> Actually, that will never happen because I don't eat apples. I hate apples. They're crunchy fruits. My fruit does not need to be crunchy. And you make fun of me? For my dislike of pastry and fruit? No, that's a totally how different is, thing. How is that's liking... a totally different thing. No, it's not. Yeah, you see, you take two things you love... And you will not eat them if they're put together. I don't think you can say that about me, okay? I mean, unless it was two things nobody loves put together, like gummy bears and Tabasco, okay? I mean... Oh! Ugh. That sounds like a good idea, actually. Ugh. Ugh. Anyway, I don't know what you were going on about with that. I don't course. know. Was I? I'm at a loss What's now. our next story? Um, <laughs> so, Raspberry Pi. You know, uh -huh. the awesome little raspberry pie. I love pie. raspberry pie. It's delicious. <laughs> um, somebody hacked it to open a, well, using it and Siri mm -hmm. to open a garage door. Oh, really? Show the clip. Okay. With wiring pie? Open the garage so he door. said, what's wiring pie? It must be some kind of kit you can buy. So he's saying, that open rhyme. garage door. And voila! That got the hacking community um, pretty happy this week. That's because that's the best thing you can do with an, I with an iPhone. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. That is the best thing you can do with an iPhone. I can show you 20 things that my Galaxy <laughs> Note will do that that won't do, but we won't get into that right now. Okay. All right. Shall we uh, open some packages? Oh, we do have packages. Because we only have like five more minutes to be done with this show. Oh, because I have a hot date. Yeah, you have a hot date with 14 different girls. Dallas Cowboy... <laughs> Rhythm of blues why, dancers. Why do you have the clear spot out here? 
Because I'm connected to it. Because okay. in case the power went down, I wasn't going to lose internet. Whoa! All you suckers, Ken. maybe, but not me. Look at what Ken wow. did while look we were at that. doing the show. Oh, holy mother. <laughs> look at that, people. Would you look at that? Is that our new, uh, our new gear rig? <laughs> Listen to Herwig. I'm not carrying that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this this is the modified version. Uh, we'll just go ahead and plug the mic in here. I think Ken's going to give you a close up I'm shot. Hungry. This makes you hungry. All of a sudden, I had, it's because I you had were a talking whole about bowl of pho too. By the way, you missed out on pho day. Oh God! It's because you were talking about raspberry pie. See, but even I don't you, like raspberry even pie. Even you do. Look at this, people. That is a 5D Mark III. <laughs> Digital film with that polish camera. Your head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And, and, and uh, I mean, that lens. And up here, it's got a juice link box, which allows us to connect up to four XLR camp microphones. See that? Mm -hmm. And then we've got two wireless microphone receivers mounted right here. Nice. And we got the big old light. Ow! So I can Thank point you. it at Cali. That's on the lowest power setting. Don't be whining. And now we could have like two microphones and do an interview like this, people. Cool. How's that? Nice. Pretty cool, huh? God, Digital you know how much this costs? I um, wonder what would wonder what all of this costs if we add it all up. It's like ten thousand dollars or something ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Oops, dropped it. Yeah, don't do that. On top of your MacBook, which costs another. <laughs> yeah, two thousand dollars or whatever. All right. Okay, so our we got a Christmas card. Oops, I that better. That looks. I'm guessing. I'm gonna let you get that again. Yes. That's a Christmas oh, card. Oh, that's cute. Look at that. Oh, and look, they're on the back. Do we have a close up? Sorry, yeah, Ken wait, is Ken putting is, down Ken the ten thousand dollar rig. That's right. Um, and Digital Phil, please don't send me a fruitcake, or I know you will. You Later, may. Digital Phil. All right. So this is. Uh, it looks like this is Brick and Lisa House. That is cute. They did an entire um, brick house. Brick house, yes. They they totally just made their card. And look, they're two doggies. It's a brick. That is cute. Look at their house. car. Is that their car? That's a VW van. That's a VW that Vanagon awesome. thing that's all decked out. Well, thank you, Brick and Lisa. Yes, or thank you very much. Lisa. L e i s a. Lisa. I think it's Lisa. Is it? I think it is. We have another okay. package here. This one is from Tektronics International, or as we like oh. to say, International. Apple 99 Man. I, I need to watch that video. What Prillo video? And, um, and, huh? his, and Diana and, and Chris, uh -huh. the Prillo's opening our package. Oh, oh my gosh. You know what this is? Is that from Matrix? Oh. This has never been seen by anyone before. Really? This is it. This is, this is the oh, big, this is the cute. big unveil, people. <gasps> Are we even supposed to be showing these yet? Um, did they say not to? I don't know. Well, guys, if we weren't supposed to show these to you, don't tell anybody we did. I you may be seeing this before, before you're supposed to. These are the cubes. Okay. These are from our friends, the guys who made the Matrix speakers. Yeah, you know, we did the giveaway of like 20 of them. That's recently. right. And they really are good and we like them. Well, yeah, everybody, this was one giveaway that everybody kept coming back and saying, wow, this is really cool. Yeah, we everybody like who got them, they it. said they loved them. Open. This is the next, this is their next product. This is the, is this their next they're evolution. They're launching it at CES. I guess we are accidentally is, launching it for them now. Sorry, so. guys. Oops. Hope it's not a problem. I didn't see NDA on that. Well, um, it might have been a friend DA. Oops. Okay, I got you, the red you one. You guys are all friends. Look, I got the red one. But that, no, I was asking you to open mine. That was mine. But then you changed it for me. No, I asked you to open it. Look at this. Would you look at this, Ken? It is a tiny little speaker. It is. It really is tiny. Dave, are you going to switch it? There you go. Look at that. It is like milled aluminum. It feels solid. It feels like it weighs about a half a pound. Here's yeah. the back. It's got a cute little Matrix audio. Their cute little elephant logo dude. He's very cute. And it's got a power button and it's got a USB charge audio button. And there's, it looks like there's a little reset pin thingy in there. And I guess you just push this power button, maybe hold it in 
It probably has to be charged. I can't wait to hear how, how oh, it look, sounds. Oh, it turned on. Did See it? the little blue light? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? E.T. Schutz says, throw it, it at someone. <laughs> Try to slingshot. This no, would, that would hurt. It would hurt. It's solid. It's solid, yeah. All cool. right. Cool. Uh, E.T.S. E e how, how do we, how should we say that? E.T. E shoots. shoots. Plug it in. Test it. Okay, say. I'm going to plug it in right um, now. I'm going to test it. He said that he skipped a few of the giveaway contests because he has no use for them. I, I bet everybody else appreciates that if you don't. Uh... <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay. Um, These are cool. Uh, we have three of them. Black, I got to figure out how to actually pair silver. it. silver. Okay, we have another it. package. Yes. This package comes courtesy of... Ben? Ben! Ben! All right. That one is from Ben. Ben is, is, our, uh, is our writer. Ben is in the our... chat room. Oh! Look at that. What is that? Oh. Did Ben have t-shirts oh made? Gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, look that at is this. awesome. It says Cali. It is your own is customized awesome. t-shirt. And then on the back, what does that say? Warning, contents may include... Technology, viral videos, podcasts, robots, bacon, extreme geekiness advised. That is cute. That is awesome, Look, Ben. Look, yours. Seriously. Ours are totally different. He oh, put a lot of thought into Mine looks like this. army. Look at that. Living lobster. Wow. It's like army Look green. Look at the back. Oh, my God. United States Marines. Oh, my oh. God. Mess with the geek. Mess with the geek, get the, get the marine. marine. That is awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> Way to go, Ben. Oh. That is amazing. Oh, look at GK. Wow, GK Dave got one. <laughs> nice. And look at the back. Forever a soldier. Forever a night. Forever a night. Oh. Very cool, Ben. ben. You are awesome. You are so sweet. Thank you so much. Go, and yeah. there are cards for everyone. Wow, cards for everybody. Aww. Gosh, Ben, that was so nice. Thank you. Okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out what I have to do to. Uh, I can't wait to put mine on. I'm I'm yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to actually connect it. <laughs> I will never forget Three who watts. I am. And yes, Et Schultz, did you tell us? Oh. Oh, shoots. you know what? Maybe. Et shoots. I know what's wrong. Um. Uh, he says you were a marine. It, oorah. Yes. Uh, I think I know what's going on because I don't think this is Bluetooth. Is it Bluetooth? Oh, is it not? I didn't look. I think maybe what I'm supposed to do is it plug and play. Is plug it this in. I would be shocked if it's uh, if it's Bluetooth, actually. And then plug this in. Maybe that's the way it works. Um, Et shoots says uh, John P. I served in MCBH. Kanoe Bay. Kanoe Bay. Bay. Three BT three. Third battalion, you guys, third Marines. <laughs> I, I, I have all the, all the, all the, all your like Hawaii. language. It's your, not Hawaii. It's military Hawaii. military language. I don't understand. Three BT. Uh, let's three see. March. Okay, I got okay. it on. Turn it up. It's that pretty loud impressive. for that tiny little thing. David Bowie. Oh, God. <laughs> that that's is pretty impressive. That's actually. impressive that all that sound is coming out of that tiny wow. little thing. Cool. You know what? I'll bet you. I, I don't think so this is. Whatever. <laughs> I don't think this is a, uh, a Bluetooth version, but I'll bet you they're going to come out with one. We'll yeah, find out. Or maybe one of those is. This one might be no, the non, and those might be. So. I don't know. I think they're all the same. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, we got to let you get off to uh, my hot date. Your date and uh, GK is anxious to, to go as well. Yeah, I'm GK's sure he's been trying not to shut really. down this live stream. Did you stream. just say not really? Okay, You're not you don't, looking forward to it. You don't okay. have to go. <laughs> he's all nonchalant about it, like, oh uh, yeah, it's no, you he's know. Like I'm used to it. Whatever, you know. <laughs> I've been there, done that. Oh well, I'm cool. he has. He said show. before the show starts. He said that he has a bunch of pictures with, uh, who is it, the Dallas Cowboys? Cheerleaders, yeah. The cheerleaders? Yeah. Well, that's true, because he probably jumped them out of airplanes. Yeah. He how probably many, jumped how them. How many? <laughs> Not, yet. <laughs> Not yet. Don't cheese. How many uh, cheerleaders? Did you jump cheerleaders? Yeah, we did. We're on their show. Remember? We did the show with them. What show? 
making of a Dallas cheerleader? I didn't know that. We were on an episode. I, I don't. What's Mac we, making of a Dallas cheerleader? Yeah. It's a, a TV show they do. Oh. Yeah. I should know this. I'm from Dallas. Do you want to be a Dallas cheer, cowboy cheerleader? I don't know what the right answer is here. <laughs> so, yeah. Yes, I want to be a Dallas cheerleader. We're going to get Dallas you one of their outfits. <laughs> We're going to get you a Dallas cowboy cheerleader outfit. And then oh, no. you can be one. Yeah. Yeah. No. See, everybody agrees with me. Don't you guys agree? It's a reality starting, show. Oh, okay. You're starting out the show causing trouble and ending the show causing trouble. Yeah, I know. You are John P. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll let you guys go. And uh, I hope you guys have a great, happy holiday. For those of you who are Christians, here's a picture for you. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what was going on there. <laughs> I, was, I was actually going to say, for those of you who are Christians, Merry Christmas. Yes. For those of you who are Jewish, Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. For those of you who are not, Happy then, Holidays and Festivus. Um, Happy Kwanzaa. What is Kwanzaa? I'm not sure. I think it came out of Africa. Oh, I think yeah, they celebrated right. in parts of Africa or something. <laughs> and for those of you who are Marines, we salute you. <laughs> Hoorah! <laughs> we we really appreciate you guys if we haven't told you enough we yeah. really do appreciate you hanging in here and always being here and watching and participating all that good stuff yeah i think we thank them a bunch of times throughout the episodes that are coming out over the holiday by the way you're gonna bring tears to my eye it's time to go i <laughs> love you guys so we love you guys have a good one we'll see you we'll see you next year yes. if not sooner and here's a little something special that Dave has teed up uh -oh. to leave you with. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.